Gentle pressure here. This is foam, sotrodecol, 0.1%, 0.1%. Now this goes in more slowly and does not reach quite as far as the regular sclerosing agent, but it hangs around for a long time. See how that hangs around for a long time and it doesn't... You can just see it refilling now centrally, but still a lot of this has not refilled and very often. Actually, I squeezed it. You notice I squeezed right. it right there. And it came back more quickly. I'll show you. I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay. Um, bevel up, slightly bent here. A uh, number of locations we can go. We can go in here, for instance. Skin on the stretch a little bit. Needle in that vessel. I think you can see pretty clearly. Injecting. Can you see that disappearing there? But I'm always looking at the tip of the needle just to make sure there's no there's no uh, extravasation right at the tip of the needle there. <coughs> okay, I'll take another one, please. Okay, I always want to try and inject uphill. <coughs> inject uphill. Here we go again. One needle coming in. See that? Just that foam gradually working its way up here. Now this foam, again, it's under a lot more pressure than if we were just injecting 0.1% soda decal. Now, it doesn't want to go too far here, but, but if you look at that white area, can you see that, Isaac? You see it's staying white for a lot longer than if you just put in the regular sclerosing agent. Let's go in here, it's a nice deep one here. Now there I'm a bit worried about extravasation, so I'm going to come out. Uh, let's go in here. That looks good, huh? Now this stays foam for about a minute or two, and after that you find the foam is lost in the syringe, so you want to come on out then probably and foam it up again. This is good for the larger vessels. For the smaller vessels I would go with a 0.1% sotrodecol, you could use ethoxysclerol. And my good friend Roy Groken still likes to use a hypertonic saline. But for me, this really does the trick. Okay, this is a good sized vascular complex. Just going to bend the needle up a little bit. We're using foam, 0.1% in that vessel there. And then you'll see it gradually filling. You have to put a fair amount of pressure on this. It's different to the regular 0.1% sotrodecol. But don't put too much force, otherwise you'll extravasate. You can see it gradually filling up here. Gradually filling up, and then once it fills up, it'll take some time for the blood to come back again. And you can see it. There we are. You can see if right at the tip of the needle, you see you've got a bit of extravasation there, so I'm going to stop there and go over here. I've got more foam I'm going to put in here, so foam on foam here. Oh yes, now look at that. 
see that's going nice again. Don't inject too hard. We've got foam just north of the site that I'm injecting. So all these veins look nice and white now. They're all foamed. And a bit of extravasation again. Now obviously you don't want to extravasate, but just a little bit won't do any harm. Plus, <coughs> don't forget that three quarters of this is um, is air, so it's even even better. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. All right, we're going to do this area here. Now you see this is a, a larger reticular vein underneath here with some lighter pink vessels <coughs> associated. Many people say that you've got to get the reticulated vein first. I don't know how valid that is, but that's what people say. So let's just do it. You got a good shot of that, Isaac? Yep. So that's pretty much about as good as it gets in terms of being in the vessel. Again, don't press too hard <coughs> on the uh, syringe. Otherwise, I should extravasate. But you see all those teeny vessels now look white. It looks like a topographical map. I should know, I'm doing topographical maps of Africa with my son right now. I'm going to be doing all night tonight. Because parents are not allowed to help, of course. You know how that is. Okay, that was clever. All right, I think that's looking very nice. That should be fine. Little needle, keep very still. That's good. You okay? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's. Yeah, it's just. I think my next time I come in, I'll be better. <laughs> I'll be better. You know, you just know what to expect. And... Yeah. Thank you. Did you like that? That was nice. Ah, uh, yes, please. Okay. Little needle here, keep very still, it's very good. Into that, and there it is. Foam technique again for these vessels that are about two millimeters in diameter, and I think you can see immediately they've disappeared very nicely. Now, w one question is how much do you have to put in, and how long do they need to be foamed? I think. 15, 20 seconds is probably enough. Um, and then there's, some, there's another little vessel here, for instance, I think we should take out. So I go proximal to the vessel and just pop it in and then you see it just disappear. There you go. And these are smaller vessels, but I'm sure we can get in them. Never say that because of course when it happens on film. Usually this. There we are. I was right and wrong. I missed it when I got in as well. Bit of both. That was a cheeky one. Okay. After this.